both look for a sign what is up you guys welcome to day five of our not so scary youtube party and i love the comments from yesterday's video that you guys are like i know what you're talking about yay i'm not crazy so today we are talking about something very fall-esque and i'm basically just giving you the green light to go shopping i'm gonna give you guys my top 10 like fall must-haves my essentials for like this cozy sweater weather awesome time of year when everything kind of transitions and just my new favorite things for the month right now and that I kind of collected through the month of September that's rolling into October right now. Amazon is my favorite place in the whole world. So I'm going to share my top picks right now. Let's do this. So number one, my planner and my journals are a huge part of my life, especially in a new season. A new season, whether you realize it or not, you're transitioning. So you might feel like in a little bit of a funk or like you need a fresh start. That's usually why I start a fresh workout program. I get a fresh journal, a fresh notepad and clean slate. Usually we need to detox as well. And sometimes it just means our thoughts. So for me to have a new journal, which I had to share these journals with you guys. I love notebooks and journal. I guess it's like the same thing. I got these in Disney World and I was going to do like a Disney World haul, but then I just kind of got excited about our not so scary YouTube party and I forgot. So I'm going to do like a mini one right now. How freaking cool. If you're old enough to remember what VHS tapes look like, you're dying right now. So these are actually lined notebooks. Like what? So there's Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and Lion King. Now I got these in the parks, you guys. I don't think you can get them at the Disney store. I don't think you can get them online. You can check. I will check for a link for you guys, but I got these in the parks at Disney Springs at the big Disney store. I think they sell them in Animal Kingdom as well. So if you're in Florida, this is my notebooks. And then I had to share my new planner with you guys. Now I've talked a lot about Erin Condren in the past. I actually did a plan with me video and I showed you guys exactly how I plan out my day. And what I was finding was that I needed more space. So what was happening is I was using notebooks and journals to fill up the space that I didn't have in my Erin Condren planner. Not to say I didn't love my Erin Condren planner, but this day designer seems to be working a lot better for me because each day is one whole page. So I love it so far. I got the June 2017 to May 2018. So we'll see how that goes. I had to share that with you guys. I absolutely love these choices. And like I said, for transitioning into a new season, it's the best. Number two, I feel like fall is all about candles and all about like pumpkin spice everything. So I had to share these with you guys. This goes without saying you can totally go to Bath and Body Works. I have to say I was a little bit disappointed this year with Bath and Body Works. Hopefully they step up their game at Christmas, which I think they already have. I checked online and it seems like they have some new launches coming out already for Christmas. But I have to say with the fall and autumn scents and the pumpkin spice scents, I didn't like any of them. Let me know if you guys had one that you liked. Comment down below because I honestly could not find any that I liked. But what I did find was a Yankee Candle at HomeSense. So there was a little bit discount because Yankee Candles can get pretty pricey, but they're great quality. It is a pumpkin pie martini and it smells like a little bit pumpkin pie and a little bit like classy class. And I love it. It's not too sweet and not too strong. The other thing that I'm loving, I talked about this in a previous video um, that I was saying the biggest Disney secret revealed that I kind of figured out. I mentioned these oils in that video. This is P and J. You can get these on Amazon and this one is Harvest Spice. Unreal. I actually spilled a little bit on my hands and I smell like it. It's so good. Harvest Spice is probably my favorite. There's a pumpkin spice one as well. Love. All right, number three for you guys. In the fall, I kind of like to get a new makeup routine going. And what I am loving right now that just came in and I'm actually wearing it. Um, I didn't do like a full makeup today, but the new Huda Beauty palette. And I'm going to give you guys like my two favorite palettes right now. I have a ton, but I'm trying to keep it simple for you guys. The new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, like all of the shades of fall and just beauty. And I'm obsessed with this color right here, Twilight, which is what I have on my eyes right now. And it's like unicorn colored and I love it. The other thing that I have that is kind of like part of my Disney haul that I'm just combining with this video because you guys need to know about it. I'm pretty sure that this was from Hot Topic. It was actually a gift for my birthday and it is the Ohana mm -hmm, eyeshadow 
eyeshadow palette and these colors are so pigmented and so pretty so that is the ohana eyeshadow palette so cute so these are my two favorite go-to's now you guys i do not know if you saw the day three video that i said that i was doing a giveaway i will post the link to the giveaway that i'm doing all you have to do by the way just click the link if you're subscribed and you're following me on my little instagram page my new like favorite instagram page that is all that you need to do it's really simple and then i just need your name and your email so that i can contact you if you win but what i'm doing is i'm giving away the huda beauty rose gold palette which i have sitting in my desk ready to go for you guys and i had to spruce it up a little bit since the video that i did was on organizing your makeup and how i organize my makeup i'm giving away a allegory makeup organizer and i am giving away a set of unicorn brushes so these beauties right here so i'm going to be sending that little bundle to one lucky winner. Number four for the fall. Obviously you have to be comfy and it's all about being cozy and warm and mm. So I got new slippers. I shared these in a previous video, but I had to, you know, give them honorable mentions because if you look at their little butts under their tail, there's a USB that attaches to these suckers and they're heated. So if you have your laptop, you can just USB it to your laptop and they're heated and they're unicorns and they're adorable. Like I don't know how you don't want these in your life. So these are from smoko.com. Um, they have a whole theme of LED the unicorn. I'm obsessed with it all. I want it all. I love it. I'm going to just fill my room with Elodie the unicorn. The other thing that I got is a little onesie, which for me is perfect because it's actually a tank top onesie and it's pink and perfect. And it's from forever 21. I will show you. So I honestly wear that with these and I I'm like just a little pink ball of cotton candy. So this is the onesie. You can actually see the top how for me, I get really warm. So tank tops work. So it has like a little belt, a little drawstring belt, and then long pants. And it's like a lightweight, but still cozy. I love it. That's from Forever 21. I will link it down below for you guys. Now, obviously with fall comes cooking. And my number five favorite thing essential that you need for fall is a good pumpkin recipe. So I'm going to share with you guys my version of muffins. I do not eat muffins often at all because I just don't eat. Like I don't love like bagels and muffins and things that just are so dense in carbs, I guess. I still totally enjoy carbs. Okay, that's a total lie because I eat donuts, but I don't I don't love bagels and muffins, but I do love these muffins. So they are zucchini based, but I don't like zucchini. So if you don't like zucchinis, don't worry. You don't even taste them. It's just a way to get your veggies in. And I mix in some pumpkin and some delicious spices, and then I top it with some pumpkin butter. And I'm going to add either raisins or chocolate chips. I'll put the whole recipe down below for you guys so that you have it. I love the recipe, Andre loves the recipe, and it's healthy, it's legit. All right, number six has to be, you know, having warm drinks in the fall and enjoying the weather. And I don't know if you guys can hear Carl barking downstairs, there must be a mailman. He's losing it. We'll wait till he takes his chill pill and calms down. It's probably the UPS guy. Okay, I think we're good. So cozy drinks, it's my favorite thing. This is my go-to mug right now, and I actually have the matching Minnie Mouse, which I guess I left downstairs. So it's like his and hers. It's super, super cute. Um, Andre and I had got this one at Disney World. We couldn't find the Minnie Mouse one, and a good friend of ours actually sent me the Minnie Mouse one, and I opened it, and I started crying. I just thought it was the most thoughtful thing, and it comes with, like, the little spoon. You, you gotta know that I can't go without talking about cocktails. Yesterday's video was about cocktails, but in case you didn't see it, I talked about this cuppy, which is so Halloween-themed, and I love it. I will link that video down below as well, because I feel like it's such a fun... Disney video and it's so on point with fall and I love it so that's what I'm drinking my cocktails and yes I'm a large child number seven this one is my newfound obsession with fall. I feel like in the fall, I love to do DIYs and I keep seeing things on Etsy that are either just crazy expensive or something that I know that I can do myself, like my Mickey Mouse ears that I shared with you guys in another previous video. And what I was figuring that I would do is actually you're, you're probably thinking like, why does she have, those of you that are a little bit OCD, we're probably like, why is that in the background? I am going to be painting these pumpkins and these super cool candle holders in an upcoming video and DIYing my fall decor to just be more Angie-esque because I will just put this out there to you guys. I hate the color orange. And that was my problem with fall and Halloween. I don't like the color orange. I never have, I never will. It clashes with everything. Dramatic rant done. So here is my solution for you guys. I'm gonna show you exactly what I use to paint these things. And this is actually what I did with a lot of the furniture in here. That is a DIY. I painted that with chalk paint. So I got this pink chalk paint. It's from Michael's Art Minds chalk paint in 
blush and then I have this one in sea glass. So they're basically like the ultimate unicorn colors. I'm going to paint the pumpkins in that as well as the candle holder and I'll show you guys that in a future video. So if you guys have some great DIY projects that you've either found on Pinterest or that you've done yourself, will you link them down below because I'm going to add them and feature you guys in an upcoming DIY video, especially themed for fall. I'm amped about it. Fall Halloween. Number eight has to be comfy clothing. Now, I know I already shared like the comfy loungewear, but if you have to go outside the house, you gotta be appropriate. So I just got these leggings from Gymshark. I am not sponsored. I'm just being authentic and sharing them with you guys. So these are their seamless leggings and I'll just be super real for a second. Those of you that are trying super hard to grow a booty, I am doing like the best workout program ever right now and I'm super proud of like the little bum that I'm trying to grow. I was not blessed with a booty. I had a flapjack booty until like a few months ago. There is a little seam right here that literally like lifts and accentuates your butt in like the most like casual way that nobody would ever notice. I love them. And then I got this adorable crop sweater. So I got this little crop top Mickey Mouse. It's super lightweight. It's almost like a Terry inside. And I got this from H&M and I think it was $19.99. Like love. I will link both down below for you guys, but that's my go-to fall weather. Where number nine has to be my go-to beauty products and my go-to beauty routines in the fall. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like everything gets kind of dry and I just need to feel like a lot more like pampered in the fall. <laughs> so I found these awesome... I was talking to you guys about how I was doing my hair masks. If you guys saw the hilarious vlog that I did that I did my workout with like my hair mask still in with like some saran wrap in my hair. Hilarious. I love hair masks. So I just did the coconut version of this Sephora hair mask. And this is the Shea hair sleeping mask. So it comes with the actual mask on top, like the shower cap on top. And then the mask, the cream is down here and you just leave it in overnight and it smells so good. And it's, I'm actually noticing a huge difference in the health of my hair. My other go-to beauty routine, because we all know that the sun is about to go away, you guys. This is Fuegs Honey Bronze Shimmering Dry Oil. And it's from the body shop and it, the smell is incredible. And it, when you put it on, it's very like it's liquidy. So whenever you pour it on and you kind of just like rub it all over and it like gives you like the shimmery dark glow and you smell like the beach and it's amazing. And then this other thing from the, I'm obsessed with Body Shop lately, especially they have the best prices. Wild Argan Oil, but it's like a sugar scrub. And I actually use this as a shaving cream. It smells amazing and it smells like fall. So these are my three fall beauty, like pampering essentials. I love them. Now my last and final essential that you need, and just like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you need a new routine, you need a fresh start sometimes in a new season, and I totally get that. And one thing that I've been wanting forever that I actually bought for my team before I bought for myself, and I've been, I literally have been fussing about this. Like I don't even wanna call it talking about it, I've been fussing about this and why, I was gonna say another word, whining about it forever. I got an Apple Watch, so, I really believe in setting fresh goals and new intentions and I am on my game with my fitness program. I'm super pumped about it. So what I do for fitness, and I wanted to talk to you guys about this. I obviously, Andre and I take a walk almost every day. We walk to the local Starbucks or to the juice shop and back. We're kind of in a city hub, so we're able to do that. But just having a destination to go to and come home is really cool. And so the real, I guess, fitness thing that I do, like my real workouts, are my beach body on demand workouts. That's what I use. And that's why I got the watch. I can actually do it with that. And I just do my workouts at home. And so does Andre. He actually just got finished with his. So hopefully that answers your question. I also want to start doing yoga this fall and winter. I'm probably gonna do some hot yoga. And I also spin. I love my Peloton bike. I use that almost every other day. I use it more so as a warm up. but my main workouts are on Beachbody On Demand on my Apple TV, but I'm super excited about this watch. It's already counting. Like it's told me a couple times when I need to stand up. It's gonna track my workouts. It has the Beachbody On Demand app in there. Love. So that's what I'm doing. I'm super pumped about my top 10 things. Hopefully they were helpful for you guys. If you have extra tips for like each category or what your top 10 are, let me know down below. Don't forget you guys, subscribe, hit that bell so that you know when the next video is going up. Don't forget to give the thumbs up and enter that giveaway. I cannot wait to give that stuff away. The contest closes next Friday at midnight. So I will see you guys tomorrow for day six. Bye dudes.